Good evening, everybody. Let's play some City Skylines in 2020. I am picking up my city, the Dreamy Hills. Here's a nice nighttime overhead shot of this lovely little hamlet that we're building. But no, we're not a hamlet anymore. We went from a little hamlet to a worthy village and we're building up to a tiny town. So, after the emotional scarring that rained down upon me when I lost my first city, I decided with this next city, I'm gonna be more responsible. I'm gonna do the right thing. I'm going to try to plan this better. So we've been working toward that. The key goals have been trying to not dip below about 30,000, if at all possible, and watching the green, blue, and orangey bars, and not taking out loans. So it's slow and steady, slow and steady, all right? So before I unpause and the game mercifully starts paused, let me just see kind of like what is the most useful thing to do when you resume a city. So I can click on my information panel um, and I can see that people aren't like super jazzed. Like the commercial stuff, people are really happy about that. But office happiness, we don't really have offices because we don't have enough educated people, I'm guessing. We'll find that out. Industry, people are thrilled. Um, but then some of these residences, I believe they're in red. This is where like people are furious. Now, I don't know if it's because they're placed badly, like they're too close to commercial stuff or too close to pollution. Um, but like clicking on this gives me no information. Um, pollution. So, you know, um, ground and water pollution is caused by polluting industry, right? So we have a lot of industry here that's causing pollution. Um, certain power plants and city services. Uh, okay. So it lowers the value, which I'm not really too worried about that. I mean, to be honest, the average um, levels of pollution aren't that bad. So I'm not worried. Let's look at some other stuff. Let's look at some other indicators here. See if we've got, we've got noise pollution. So the industry makes ground pollution and noise pollution. Um, fire safety is a concern, primarily in these areas where the industry is happening. Traffic, just at this intersection, like right when you get into town, um, traffic becomes an issue. This here appears to be a garbage truck broadsiding or crashing into a logging truck, so I can see that traffic is an issue. I hope that doesn't actually result in a crash. Um, this forestry stuck uh, truck is importing projects to Frank's fish stick factory. So this is Frank's fish stick factory um, that is actually doing really well. Has seven jobs available. I mean, it's just amazing the narrative, the story that this game provides by clicking on the different car. Like, you know, you can click on this car and then you can see like, oh, it's a garbage truck. Or this is, you know, Jesus, they're both going to the fish stick place. And then, oh, here's a park place. And it's owned by Walter Brown, who is actually right here. Now, um, is this him? No, that's Howard Jones. Or where's Walter Brown? Where are you, you bastard? Anyway. And then you can be like, oh, she lives at the King residence, which is here. And she, you know, goes over here uh, and works here. I mean, it's just, you can follow the entire chain of your people and see what their day-to-day -day life is like and what they're doing and perhaps, you know, try to improve that. Now, you also have your tweets 
here. So um, I'm just going to kind of get caught up and people are happy. Like right before I quit last time, I, I leveled up or, you know, I got the next um, milestone. And then people were thrilled because I made green energy. That reminds me also. I've been kind of keeping my energy off to the side over here. Let me look at my energy screen. Um, we're doing fairly decent with respect to power production. But honestly, this is dipping a little bit too low for me. So I am going to build another wind turbine. And I'll try to put it in a place... I'd love to put it in one of these places up here. And you know what? Maybe I should do is I should start... Um, building like a little power bridge over to that area so I can maximize the, the higher area. The darker the blue on the wind screen, which you automatically go to when you put wind turbine, um, you can see that its estimated production is 8 milliwatts, I suppose. Um, and so I want it to be up here on top of this hill, you know, um, where it has better access to the wind. What is this? What is this little thing? There's this, like, awesome ruined... Uh, no, I don't want to bulldoze. Um, I just... No, pause it again. I, I want to just, like, understand what this is. What is this? There's this, like, ruined church or something over here? Like a castle? This looks sweet. Huh. All right, interesting. I didn't know that there were like, you know, pre-established ruins built in. Is that just part of the seed for this map? I don't know. But anyway, so I'm gonna build another wind guy and try to kind of like power hop. I think that it's power um, spreads pretty decently, but what I'm seeing is actually its noise pollution rate, not necessarily how far it powers. So I want to make sure to still be within this guy's like power production. So I'm going to do it here just as an experiment. And it did work. Um, and so you can see that it produces power um, around itself in what appears to be like a big octagon. And it was close enough to this guy's you know, Power Man to sync up. Now, remember, it doesn't reflect the change until I unpause it for a second. But anyway, that was a big hit to our money. I do want to go ahead and build our new buildings, which are a fire department and a police department. However, I don't have the money right now. So I'm going to unpause it and just let things happen before I get to that. Now, um, I have a pretty nice demand for... Uh, residential zones so I'm thinking you know uh, maybe I should build a few more so I'm going to open up my zoning and see that if I want to actually build some more green space for people um, I'm going to have to build more roads because I don't have any more places that I could potentially zone so what I'm going to do is just stretch this out a little bit. Remember, I don't want to go below, um, let's say, 30,000. I'm going to keep that number in mind. Now, these people all get pissed off when you do construction by them, and they have the promise of new traffic, and understandably so. But I'm going to zone this. Now, so this, these just like modest extensions in the road here give us all kinds of new opportunities to build and zone without spending too much money. But the concern is before you actually, at least for me, before I even zone this, I want to see what the water situation is like. So all of these new places will get water and will have their sewage taken care of. So that's good. What about power? Well, the power will spread from the existing places. So that's not actually what I have to worry about. So then I think I'm free to just zone. Um, Zone this, 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 um, this, and I'm actually going to zone this for industrial because I do have some demand for industry. 
and then I'll zone this and this to be commercial as well as this. Actually, no, I'm gonna clear this and make it residential, okay? And this also residential. I like to kind of like mix it up just to make the city look a little bit more interesting than just, you know, residential here and commercial here. All right, so now I just built a new wind turbine. I'm still well above my promise of 30,000 or so and I'm making a good weekly income, so I think it's fine to unpause it. Now, I'm at speed one. I'm gonna speed it up to speed two by pushing two on the keyboard, where you can just click it, and see kind of what happens. See how the bars respond, and then do my favorite thing in the game. Um, all right, so this guy, sometimes they just tweet stuff that's like just unrelated to the game and amusing. Um, and that was one of those. I, my favorite thing is to just watch the construction happen. I love seeing, okay, so people are building some houses, people are moving in, and the demand for residential has gone down, but that's totally fine. Our money is going up. Um, let me take a pause and quickly look at my power grid. So my new wind turbine has been turned on, and you can see it's, you know, it's over here. It's well out of the city, but... People don't really care about these anyway. They, they generate minimal pollution, both in terms of noise pollution and actually, let me check my um, pollution map. Uh, yeah, they don't generate any actual, um, oh wait, that's the garbage map. Um, do, 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 where's the, here we go. Yeah, they don't generate any. Now this guy dumping out the bad stuff in the water, everything downstream of this is a disaster. But upstream, beautiful, all right? So anyway, that's good. Let's unpause it. Let's look at the city. Uh-oh. I heard something bad happen. Okay. Demand is going down. Money is going up. I think we have enough money now to build um, a police department or a fire department. So we need to kind of choose, like, which one do we want more here, all right? Now, I'm going to look at that by saying, okay, so here's fire safety. The hazard is at 77%. Um, and then let's, what's the crime rate? It's very low. So I think it's probably best to go with fire just to protect ourselves from a disaster. Um, so if I want to build this, how much does it cost? Okay, it costs 12000 which is nuts. And it has a 560 upkeep per week which cuts into our, you know, upkeep of about 1900 quite substantially. So this is a huge investment that I have to make. Um, it's also going to use a lot of water and electricity. But I view this as just kind of a thing that I have to have anyway. Um, so I'll wait until I get to about 42000 before I build that and see what happens. See, see what's going on in Dreamy Hills. Wow, look at this little uh, Big Bite Burger. Everyone's thrilled to have that there. All right. Now the demand for industry is continuing to rise. So given that that's on the table, um, I might start building some roads, stretching things out. Let's go ahead and put a firehouse in. I'm gonna put it here because no one moved into this. Um, now people aren't pissed off about something like this. First of all, it looks sweet. I don't understand what the purpose of this tower is for, like so they can visually see fire. Um, that seems an antiquated prevention method, but okay, it's cool. They got three big old garage bay doors for all their activity. And a nice little uh, flag hanging down. So that's great. So um, people are pleased about that. I'm going to wait like just a second. I'm going to wait a week or two. And then, um, okay, so that's a couple, couple weeks, I think. I'm going to now look at my fire. Um, and so... I went from being at 77% risk rate to down to 38%. So that's much better. 
actually, and I'm going to uh, do some road work here. It's not going to be easy, but I want to build, um, I want to connect all of these roads uh, to simply give the fire station more access, just in case, you know, to help expedite its progress through town. I don't know if that actually will do that, but it seems like the right thing to do. You want cable cars? Hell yeah. I don't think I can... Can I do that? Um, not yet, anyway. Oh, okay. I have to get to 2600 to build those. So I'm not quite there yet. Wow, these trees popped in. These trees were not here before. Um, and I wonder if it's just a symbol of... Oh my god, somebody's gone down... Let me check this out. At the general store, we have a, K a fatality. No, no, not a fatality because it's the ambulance. They're going to save this person. I just know. Um, let's see what happens here. Here comes the person being gurneyed out. Can I click on this to find out who it is? Let's wait until they're in. Let's see if I can figure out who it is. No. Okay, so they're, they're not going to give me the information until they've notified next of kin. You know, it's patient confidentiality for now. Okay, so that's fine. I respect that. Their privacy. A building has leveled up. Holy moly. If you provide good services and education and have a high land value, um, the zone buildings in your city can be improved to higher level buildings. Higher level buildings pay more taxes and house more people or offer more jobs. Pollution is reduced in higher level industries. So it seems like, again, I'm new to this particular franchise of city building so it seems like there's absolutely no downside to that leveling up so the belmont residence is leveling up i mean they've got a grill a nice umbrella i can understand that or it's it's reaching like this area of town is doing very well did you leveled up can i see that easily um it said something over here leveled up Ooh, okay this this is what happened. So the upgrade is underway. So they build the rafters up and they're going to change it. Now, I think this is why I can like um, do the historical building if I don't like the way that it looks later. But I'm not like jaded on any of the aesthetic developments in the game yet. So I don't want to do historical. I want to see the changes. And so this is a... The Sunnyside residence, I'm going to pause it so I can just like look at this with, um, without, yeah, because while I've been kind of watching this, you always got to keep your eye on the prize. And what's the prize? Well, by God, it is making sure that you don't have a problem in any of the major areas. Like, for example, um, I'm having a high demand for residential zones, which is good, uh, but it means I'm not offering low level housing for like affordable stuff um, because the real estate bubble is um, seller's market, right? Um, now, I'm going to look at this. I'm still making money, which is amazing. And my income has actually almost normalized from adding in that fire station so I can see a police station on the horizon. All right, let me just look at this cool building. So now they have a sandbox in the front yard. The house does look cooler. What else is going on here? Just more people can live here, and then they pay higher taxes, that's all. So I have five educated people here, so my school system seems to actually be doing its thing. And I'm, I'm going to click on that. Where's the little, there should be like a education thing. Like, here it is. Um, ooh, I'm going to have to build another one of these pretty soon. The, um, we're, we're kind of getting closer to... Um, I have no high school. Now, can I build that? No, I can't do that yet. Um, but my elementary school is starting to fill up. So I don't want to neglect the up like the building upgrades that I got in um, previous milestones. So I just want to make sure. Um, ooh, my health care is actually not doing too well in terms of availability, and that makes sense. I want to keep on top of this. The last thing I want is sick people in litigation. So can I, um, 
I can't rotate this? Really? Here we go. But I can't build it this close to the interstate? Is that what you're telling me? This is this doesn't count as roadside. That does count as roadside, but it's 10,000. Sweet Jesus. All right, so that's something to build, too. So I am reaching capacity, but I, my, like my trigger finger was going to the police station, which is what? It's going to cost me what? Yeah, 12, very similar to the fire. Ugh. Okay, well, it's just further incentive. Ooh, let's just connect this road. The whole point was to get the... Now, oh yeah, okay. Um, a lot of things to consider. I need to start zoning a lot more um, residential. I like this marquee tool a very good deal. So I'm going to just kind of put some people... I like the uh, the way that it works better than the fill tool, but, you know, your mileage may vary. Whatever, everybody's got their own thing. All right, so I'm shifting this around, and now I can start zoning all of this area to residential as well. However, if I look at my water, I'm going to start, like, even some of these new places are going to be out of water, unfortunately, so I'm going to have to put some pipes in. All right, so I'm going to connect the pipe here and then I want to minimize um, redundancy that looks really good okay and I'm going to actually zone a lot more green wow cool there's a lot of space travel in this game I love it Now, I think... Oh shoot, let me see what I did. Did I make it so you can't build a road there? There we go. I wanna make sure that the outlying roads are still here. But I think I might um, cut down. I'm gonna change the, the city grid a little bit and only make some of these bigger thoroughfares come through. And so I'm gonna end this activity. Okay, we got a lot of commercial desire. Let's do it. Um, let's make this commercial. Uh, we need some more industrial happening. I am going to keep these horizontal thoroughfares, though. I, uh, let me just make sure I've got that happening. Oh, these people got pissed. I'm sorry. The mayor has to make way for progress, right? Right. Alright, so that's happening. Let's put some more green in. A lot more green in. And I'll zone all this green. Oh yeah, and this. I want these roads to start creeping back here. So I'll do that like that. Just to kind of... I know one of my things in these games used to be just building roads everywhere to like to map things out in advance, but the cost of that is so um, painful, and it's better to just kind of do things modestly. But I still like to put a little like indication to myself that I'm moving the grid this way and that. Uh oh, we have some criminal activity over here. What happened here? Somebody get robbed? Um. Crime rate is high. Crap. Well, I've got to build that police station then. Yep, we've got little burglar. Men in ski masks are terrorizing the town. So that means that uh, my next project has to be a police station. And that's fine. I can do that. Um, I want to wait a second. Oh, wow. The commercial demand is really coming on... Uh, more profoundly than I was expecting. So what I'm gonna do then is build road here. And I'm going to start kind of planning something like this. There. And I'm gonna zone in some more. But let me just check the water situation. This is still plenty of water. Oh, electricity is becoming an issue. So let me continue my dream scheme of trying to figure out a way to get into the better wind area without building any high tension wires. So I'm gonna get this as close as I can. 
Great. And it gets power. Wow, that's interesting how it connected there. But I'll take it. And it turns on, so I know it's working. So I'm pleased about that. Alright, so let's check out our city. Um, we've got ski masks all over the place. Mmm. I hate to do this. It's, it's... My crime rate is just getting a little bit higher than I want it, though, so I am going to build a police station. It's going to crush my plan of staying above 30,000, so I'm going to be very, very frugal about what I do from here on in. But let's let's build um, some more uh, showering with bottled water. What, we got water problems? Oh, over here. Okay. Um, I was like, what? Oh, there's this little cranny. Okay, that's fine. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Have some water. Yeah, you don't have to shower with bottled water. My goodness. Ridiculous. Okay. What new services? What did I get? A Statue of Liberty? Um, yeah, that's fantastic. I don't have the cache for something like that. Let me look at my zoning, look at my indication. I'm going to build some more industry right here then and fill in this with industry. And then I'm going to build a little bit more opportunity for people to buy things right here. Make sure that the water is connecting to that. It is. And we're going to just let it go then. And see if we can... I'm going to turn it up to speed 3. And just see if we can start making some money. We do have some garbage issues up here. Um, which is a bummer. But I don't have... Oh, we've got power problems over here. When did that... So my power production... Did the wind stop? Or did... Hmm. Well, i got to build another one. Let's go ahead and figure out a good place for this. Here's six. I know I want to get up here. Well, maybe it's worth it. I mean, it's almost... Let's just build one up there, and then do that. Okay. That's temporary. Like, we can get rid of those high-tension wires later. The garbage situation is disturbing. Industrial waste. Or is that garbage, or is that just pollution? Like, what are you complaining about? Citizens are sick because of... Do you have uh, trash that's not being picked up? Operating normally. And it's only 7% full, and there's 2 out of 15. So really, it's just a problem that these people are living close to the heavy industry. I, I can't do much about that except for offer you other living opportunities for the time being. I apologize about that. I don't really have any ways. Like, it used to be, I swear, in SimCity, you could, like, build parks and it would reduce um, pollution. But maybe that's just too simplistic of a, you know, design choice. I don't know. If anybody knows of a way to mitigate pollution other than just building industrial sites further away from the residential zone, um, please let me know. But for now, I think it's just, you know... I know that it said that if um, I level up these industrial places, that they will produce less pollution. So maybe I should focus on, like... Um, it doesn't seem like leveling them up is going to be easy. Oh, okay. Here we go. So now we're a tiny town, which... Oh, I can landscape. And I can build parks and plazas. And any unique buildings that I have can go up to level two. Why not? That sounds tremendous. Um, oh, and I can build canals, which um, seem awesome. But I don't really have any boats happening, but um, cool. I can build all these parks. Maybe these will help. Oh, I can build a high school and a public library. Tennis courts. Oh, wow. My goodness. Well, 
it seems like they're really just taking off the wheels in terms of, or the training wheels, and now I can just build a whole crap load of stuff, which is exciting, and also a little intimidating. So thankfully it's taken the game speed back down to one for me. So I can start to assess. I did get a $20,000 boost for hitting that milestone. Now, um, decorative elements raise happiness. So happiness is good, but it doesn't seem like they actively fight pollution. The public library, cool. Um, so I can build a public library, right? Which costs what? Whoa, way more than I have. Whoa, okay, so these are cool, but they're expensive. Um, how much for just a small park? It costs eight, um, 8,000. All right, so it's actually pretty big. It doesn't look that small to me, um, but I want to build at least one of these to get it going. Let's see, you know, let's just have some people be happy for a second. All right, so now people can enjoy that. Um, the residential, the demand for pretty much everything actually is is going sky high. I see some sick people. Now that might just be because my healthcare is being overwhelmed. I'm gonna have to click on my healthcare. Yeah, my healthcare availability is um, not good. So I have to build another hospital, even though. Um, I don't wanna spend 10,000, but I can't have sick people. That's gonna drive everybody out of town in um, justified frustration. So I'll build it over here, but let me get in here and extend the roadway to make room for this. So I'm gonna kind of click here and just build this. And I have this like roadway add-on type thing installed. I don't know if that's the right language for that, um, but basically it tells you, um, you know, gives you all kinds of better choices for building a road shows you oh if you build it here it's you know parallel with this and you can connect it here and so it's it's a better guide um i like it i went to the steam uh workshop and just like looked for the best and most downloaded highly rated mods and found that um i'll put it in the description of the youtube video when i post it just in case you're not aware but you probably are so I'm gonna build this hospital um, to take care of one problem. So I'll unpause it and um, then I'm gonna reassess my road situation. Build a, let's build a road that kind of like goes right along here like that now this has always been a puzzle for me is can you build anything like that that does anything for people um we'll find out like can people actually use a one a one square zone i don't think so but anyway um we have a huge demand for residential so we're gonna do that but first let's just make sure that there's water over here and there's not quite enough so I need to build this to here and then this um, something like that looks good and then I can start zoning in a lot of these places for better living now no one can I can't zone this at all with the way that the roads are spaced out so that should be giving me like I, I should be taking notes for the future on what the right choices are for how to zone okay there we go we'll do that and i'm going to connect this road like that and then now i'm going to just tweak this um, immensely i'm going to put in some more shops for you people here and then some living here. And then also, well, no, not there, because I want the road to, I kind of want this road to sneak back here a little bit. So I'm gonna do that. 
So, all right, when I look at this, let's unpause it and see, um, moving at the slowest speed, how people react to what I have going on. The sick people should start to get taken care of, right? I'm still not great on that. I'm still not that great. It's kind of scary. I built a new one, and... Um, yeah, so you're going to have to have a lot of hospitals. There's just no getting around it. What does landscaping do? Oh, I can, like, raise and lower the terrain? Huh. Well, uh, that seems like an insane thing. Oh, my God, I'm already out of power again. Yeah, I've just built a hospital. That does make sense. Um, so let's build another wind turbine. And now that we've got this um, happening here up on this ridge, we can really start to maximize the 8 milliwatts. We are dipping very low into our financial reserves, which is scary. So we're going to kind of ease off a bit here. I'm going to build... Um, houses here. Commercial here. And also here, we'll put the roads in place, just so I don't forget. Uh-huh. Great. Okay. This is looking good. Now, um... I'm sorry about the sick people here. I know that the hospitals, I don't really have any up in, the next hospital is gonna have to go up in this quadrant over here um, to address uh, what's happening. The pollution seems to have been, or it, it seems to not be as much of an issue. It's still a thing, but not as devastating as it once was. Man, the demand for commercial is just, skyrocketing still. Alright, you guys want some more places to shop? Here you go. Fine. Fine, I'll give you that. Um, there you go. Probably need some new industry as well. Now, I kind of want this road here. Teflon coated underwear. Um, that's upsetting. Alright, I'm gonna build this over this way. And then this can go down here. And actually, I'm just gonna build this, like, to there to kind of... Canals, I mean, it's very amusing. I don't understand quite why that's a deal. Like, am I, do I want boats coming in here to deliver something to me? You're saying that um, it helps control flooding? Maybe that's some kind of natural disaster I need to be worried about? Nobody really lives close to this uh, river, but maybe I, they will, and then I'm gonna have to worry about that. So maybe they're just prepping me for the future of what I should be terrified of. And fair enough is all I can say. All right, I'm gonna put in some more opportunity for living. I'm gonna check my situation. How's my water? Okay, so these people aren't getting water if anyone ever decides to live there. So I'm gonna need to kind of just put some pipes this way. And then how's my power? It's actually okay. So we can unpause it and then just kind of see what happens here. I'm gonna go to level two, speed it up a bit. People are moving in, everyone's happy. And hey, my original answer or question has been answered. You can build just a one square or two square. You can zone something and people will build a little teeny house for that. That is amazing, that's awesome. That makes it a lot more granular. Um, I was building these giant swaths, so if you're looking at my city, you're probably like, dude, you're building things, you know, 
you're zoning wrong, you're doing all kinds of things wrong. Well, that's accurate. But anyway, I'm learning as I go, and I'm finding out that, yeah, you can. So I built all these little houses right along the park, um, and it, it worked. People moved in. Let me look at my other zoning situations. Um, okay. Sure. I'm just going to keep zoning them until they start getting agitated about it. And really, the only thing, the only drawback that I seem to see in zoning too much is that you forget to upgrade your infrastructure to support the increased zoning. So, like, you know, you have to keep an eye on your water and your power, for example. Also, every time you put more people in, yes, they're paying more taxes, which is sensational, um, but they're also drawing on your healthcare and on your fire um, and on your police and on your education, you know? So, for example, like, I have to build another school really soon um, because we've got some education problems here. Now, I swore that I wouldn't take out loans because I didn't want them to bankrupt me. However, I do want to just take a look. Maybe it's worthwhile to increase the taxation on certain parts of my city. Like, um, you know, the industrial or the, the commercial to get a little bit extra cheese. I don't want to discourage growth in those areas, but extra money is always good now. Um, I'm not going to mess with that. So if I took out this loan here, I'd get 20000 and I'd, I'd pay it back in a year, but it would cost me 403 per week. Um... And really, it's only an extra... Th no, the... That can't be right. This is not... The, the, the total interest is... Is 21000 right? So it's really bad. Um, but if you look at my income you know, um, per week, I could take that hit and use that money immediately to build um, a much needed high level, you know, or like facility that I had to have, like a police station or something like that. But right now, I don't think I, there's any, I need stuff, but I'm not, I don't think it's worth taking out the loan. I'm going to avoid it at all costs. All right. Dreamy Hills. Looking so nice. All right, Dreamy Hills. So, a quiet corner shop. Ooh, it's leveling up. Is there a thing where I can see, like, um, which buildings are about to level up? Here it is. High level buildings pay more taxes. Um, and so, I don't. Yeah, I don't think I have anything here. Some of these places are, like, getting there. This place, this organic food store, heck yeah, look at this. It leveled up, and it's doing awesome. What a great city. I would think I'm dreaming if I didn't know otherwise. That's right, because it's the dreamy hills, of course you're dreaming. So I have a few residential places that have leveled up that, you know... Um, it's interesting to see how many tiers are available to level with like, you know, the residential zones as compared to the other zones, which are just one through three. Anyway, um, what does this mean? I'm looking here. What is this? Um, blue person thing mean? Not enough educated workers. Oh, they need an educated worker? Is that what that means? Um, because my education is having some issues. It really is. So I might need to build a school then. An elementary school. And we'll build it. Jesus. Is it really this big? 
Oh, it's 24,000. Wait a minute. No, no, no. I was trying to build an elementary school. Okay. Whew. High level industry requires educated workers. Hmm. And what do these do again? So I'm looking at this and I'm saying maybe, just maybe, I'm never going to get um, people that are educated in um, one of these industrial places unless I build a high school. And that means that I'm never going to level these up. And that means um, I'm losing potential tax revenue and also pollution um, mitigation by not leveling them up. So I really want to build a high school. However, I effectively have to take out a loan to do that. I don't know if that's worth it. My power is pretty reasonable. It's kind of creeping down. Um, let me see if I can get to the point where I can afford that high school without taking a loan. I just feel like I don't want to have artificial growth in my economy because then it will um, reflect my situation inaccurately and cause me to make choices that my infrastructure can't sustain. So I'm going to just kind of try to do some organic growth and just let things happen. Um, I have a high demand for people and so I can start zoning in some more green. Go. Green, green, green. Green, green, green. Green it. Green it. There you go. Yeah, I'll put some green over here. And some over here. So let's see if this will uh, start filling in. Now, if I look at my water, I do have okay water and it's set up pretty good over here. So I think what I should do is start actually expanding my city eastward a little bit. And then... Oof. That's costly. Let's not do that. I'm going to try to make it so I'd like to get to 37,000 and then build the high school. I like the fact that there's good demand for pretty much everything. Here's the uh, organic food store, and it's like, hey, I can't get any better because we don't have enough educated people, and so I need to have a high school. I get it. All right, so I'll build the high school now, um, and it's huge. It is ridiculously large. So I can build it like maybe here? The space already occupied. What, by the road? Can I build it anyway and just bulldoze the road? Or are you not going to let me do that? Here we go. I can build it right here. Oh, it would cause me to have to bulldoze all that stuff, though. Oh, no, we can build it here. All right, 24,000. We just spent it. Awful. But we do have to have a high school, right? And we'll build it by these places over here. Now, um, I'm going to immediately need to check my water. It sort of gets water, but let's make sure that it's not sort of getting water. And then let's look at the power. It's okay. Let's build some roads to get people around to the high school a little bit better. All right. And then let's uh, start zoning out some green space for the people who want to live near the high school for reasons unknown. Okay. Um, and then put some roads like 
here, up to here, and then maybe here. There, there we go. Now we can zone all of that properly, and we can do this. Okay. So let's then zone in some green here, just for fun. You lost your key. You fool. All right, let's look at the power, and let's look at the water. The water is not adequate, so we have to immediately do that. All right. We're actually getting to the point where we almost need to build another, like, I mean, we're halfway, you know, to not having good water. But for now, we're okay with water, so I'm not going to even think about it. All right. Let's start zoning some more green. Now, at some point, I should mess around with districts. I just um, am trying to keep my head above water and <laughs> do what I can with what I've got here. Why are you showing me that I can zone this stuff in the park? I can't really do that, right? Um, okay. Sure, sure, looks good. What a beautiful sunrise. Paradise on Earth. Well, people seem to be happy. My weekly budget has declined tremendously, unfortunately. But, um... For the most part, I'd say that things are looking up here. Let's give you people some shops over here. You need, to, you need to spend a little bit, right? Who wouldn't? Okay, good. I'm gonna start connecting some roads. I'm getting back out of the danger zone, money-wise, for myself. No, I don't wanna do that. Space already occupied by what? That's cool. That's a fun, like, jagged death road there for people to enjoy. Yeah, let's build some more jagged doom roads. There you go. Yeah, we'll make it look real awkward. We can do that. Sure. Uh-oh. Industrial waste found in the soil. Oh, my God. We've been quietly trying to sweep that under the rug. And it's come back to bite us. You know what we do when people complain about industrial waste? We build a real nice playground. And that keeps them, keeps them quiet. We'll put it right here next to these industrial zones. So I think everyone will be thrilled at the location. Let's see this playground. Oh, yes, yes, look at this. What a view at the playground. The back of this giant industrial facility, the smokestacks, the warehouse. You really have it all here. I think everyone should be reasonably excited about that, right? Yeah. Okay, um, let me look at my power. And it's time. I knew it. I felt it. It's time for a new windmill. Okay. Nothing more embarrassing than power outages. All right, Dreamy Hills. Let's see. Let's see. Let's keep it going. We're on two out of three. Yeah, yeah. I thought you would be cool about it if I... Well, hopefully the high school can start pr producing some... Educated people? I don't know. But what I do know is that um, I'm going to build a road into here to allow some zoning. Ooh, look at that. They built up like a 
little ramp kind of thing. That's cool, elevated. So I'm gonna put houses here and houses all over here, as well as some delightful homes here. We'll rotate the map and anybody wanna live over here? Why not, right? Seems cool. All right. Let's connect, let's continue um, the Doomsday Road a little bit. These people still got upset, even though I, I was really trying to build outside of their, you know, their home area, but whatever. Yeah, that's fun. Okay. So, I like to just be silly um, with the roads sometimes. Ooh, I can't connect that. But I can like that. That's sweet. Uh, just to break up the monotony of a perfectly square grid. Uh, it jacks up your zoning and stuff, but it's worth it. Just for aesthetics. Interesting. It makes for like a more interesting build. And a problem to solve, I suppose. But. Ooh, new piece of land available to purchase, huh? How much does that cost? Wow, yeah, I can buy all this stuff. That's cool. But it only costs 3300 for this? Cool. That's much cheaper. That's really exciting. Um, oh my god. Look at this, by the way. Can I just um, show you something? I'm going to pause it. This is, I believe, the pollution from my little um, water drain pipe. And it's going all the way down this, all the way down here. And just spilling out and ruining this lake. That is... I'm sad about that. I'm gonna need to do something about that. Not now, but someday. Oh, we're losing people. Oh, people are back. All right. Check the zoning. Not that much demand. I'm gonna put some more industry in here. Um, I'm gonna put in some living here sure yeah sure all the way here now let's just look at the power and the water water is still doing pretty good I'll just make this happen here just to lock that in um have you lost your wallet what a good person who lives here in dreamy hills advertising on social media for a lost wallet at the extreme personal hazard. Um, I'm gonna build another wind tower. And, uh, yep, we're dipping low, so let's just stop buying things for a moment and see how the city stabilizes in response. I'm gonna jump up to speed three here. See what we got, see what we got. Yep, things are building. People are building things. Oh, who's, who's this? The Birch Residence. Wow, it started at level two, or maybe that was just an existing place that was leveling up and I took my eyes off the prize. All right, everybody seems pretty happy. I mean, so far. All right, so let's then, looks like we got some demand for some more houses. So let's just fill that by building a bunch more green zones for people. Hey, people, here's a place to live. Let me extend the roadways just so I don't lose track of my plan. Uh-huh. Looks good. Now, I know that there's some other stuff that I need to build here. Uh-oh. Barrel of glowing goo. Um, let me see. How's my health care? It's terrible. Again. Man, you need so many hospitals in this place. 10,000 for this? Jesus. Alright, so I'm going to go way down in money, but I have to protect the health care of my people. At least I think I do. Maybe I'm just overvaluing that, but if I see that I have a lack of capacity for sick people, 
gonna take care of that. Oh boy, we've got, yep, yeah, serious pollution issues. Now, what I'm hoping is that my city, with its new high school, can start producing educated workers that can level up some of these industrial sites. Because I've got, like, the lowest level possible um, in terms of industrial stuff happening. And I don't think that that's... good for anybody. I mean, we do need fish sticks. Don't get me wrong. We still have to have the fish stick factory going, but yeah, these people want to live here for sure. Um, okay, and then I'm going to build some just, you know, right by the high school, give people a trade. I'm going to zone this in industrial right around the high school so people can hop in for some part-time after school work if they need it at the factory. All right. Um, let's build some commercial stuff over here. Give people an opportunity to shop. Now, let me look at my power. Getting lower. Water availability is finally starting to tail down a little bit. And that's not a good thing. Ooh, is that a fire? Crap. Hope not. What does this mean? The building is on fire. It sure does mean that. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's spreading. We got the fire trucks on it. Hopefully we controlled that a little bit. Oh boy. What is our fire situation? The hazard is creeping up. Crime rate's fine. Okay. Mysterious cult leader. That's not what we need. Sweet Jesus. All right. Boom town. Oh my God, we did it. Um, so we reached a new kind of milestone. So that gives us another 20 grand, which we can spend probably on a fire station, I would imagine. But look, oh, we can build this transport. Sweet. Cults are fine, yeah. I mean, sure, every... every growing city needs one, don't they? I can buy some new areas. Um, wow. A bunch of cool new crazy roads I can build. I can build some roundabouts, get things going. Advanced wind turbines. Sweet. I've been waiting for that. Um, a child health center. An elderly care place. Ooh, a cemetery. Yikes. Um, okay, okay, interesting. A bunch of stuff with fairies, which I don't think is going to be a huge deal. A bus depot. Well, um, let me pause it. Ooh, I got way more than 20000 that time. I got a huge infusion of cash. So, how can we best waste that? Um, public transport helps decrease the number of private vehicles on the roads, which is good. Leaving more room to transport industrial goods. Oh, that's terrible, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, well. It costs 30,000 though, that's pretty costly. Considering there's a lot of other things I need. I need a library. What is my, um, I need another elementary school unfortunately as well and I need a fire station so and my I, I think I need another garbage place too my landfill is uh, um, looking bad so I'm gonna build another one here people are gonna be pissed about this rightfully so no you know what I'll, no reason I can't just build it over by the other one and by the high school and by this playground. All right, build one more of those. And then, um, yeah, these, like, higher level buildings are so expensive. Um, <laughs> I 
Interesting. I guess I have to have this cemetery at some point. I don't think I need it right now, but um, I do need another clinic, though, pretty damn soon. My capacity is just about maximized. But let's go ahead and get that fire station going. Um, so here's our other one. So let's kind of put it in another part of town, like where the risk is terrible up here. It looks really bad, so I'm going to build that there. Everyone's going to love that. Um... bouncy castle park I mean it looks sweet botanical garden awesome now let's build a bouncy though everybody wants a bouncy alright um, and then let's check out these advanced wind turbines so they're double the cost but they can do more than double the power output they cost a lot to maintain, but um, let's see how much I can get if I build this wind turbine way up on the hill. Water required? Oh, you lost me. Well, no, you didn't. I can just build it on the lake, I guess, or the, or the river here. Yeah, you gotta build these babies on the river. You're right. Um, well, unfortunately, they don't get max wind. 15 is pretty damn good, though. That's nearly double what I can get at my other place. So I'll just build this here. Sure. Um, it's like I know we can um, annex for more space, but I don't really need more space, do I? Like, not right now, anyway. I think that seems a little presumptuous. Um, so I'm going to just kind of look at my indices. I'm going to pause it, take a beautiful look at my city. Um, yeah. Burned bean coffee. Doing great. Um, so. Wow, this drugstore is almost like max level. I mean, people are going to be getting drugs of the highest caliber. All right, so if I look at my information, my garbage situation is probably okay now that I built the second garbage place, so that's good. Education, um, yeah, I need to build another elementary school. Um, these people down here are getting ruined um, elementary school-wise. Don't I have two elementary schools? I thought I built a second one. Did I demolish that for some reason? Um, university would be cool. I don't think I could build that yet, though. Um, all right, we gotta build another one of these to continue to educate people, right? So we're getting the education going. Um, and now at this point, I'd like to just, looks like I can zone in a bunch more houses for people. Really all levels are doing okay, but I should build some roads. Oop, nope, can't build that road, but I can build this one. No, I can't, that's a lie. Cool, I can do this. All right, good. And then I'm gonna actually do it this way. And then, this way. This is fun. And then put a crazy road here, and a normal road here. And then, crazy road over here, into the crazy area. All right. Remember, there's nothing good about cr crazy roads, except for the fact that I just like having some randomly weird roads happening in my city. Okay, um, good. Now, let me look at my water situation. Yeah, so all of this new expansion here has no water. So I gotta, like, build some pipes over here and then have this happen. Uh, so there's redundancy here, but I don't want to have this little gap. So that's good. Okay. 
All right, so I think we're at a great place where I can um, start zoning out some more. My power is good now that I built this water man and water is fine. Um, healthcare is getting better. At least we're in the yellow. Um, fire. It should normalize since we built that second one. It might take it a second to go into effect. Ooh, let me do this cool thing where I connect this road, actually. Um, this is one of my the more hilarious things you can do is just put this right onto the interstate. Um, I don't even know how the feasibility of that is, but it makes me laugh that people like the fire engine could just be making a hard right and trying to overtake some grandma in the merge lane. Anyway, um, okay, this is good. Can we do this? Yeah, cool, we can do that. Um, education is much better. High school is good, can't do university. Um, I need a library, but it's really expensive. But I could build one of these cool parks, you know, just to kind of take people's minds off of things. Don't worry about the pollution when we've got all these parks, right? Right? Okay. So I'm going to stop there um, with this game, and I'm going to switch games over to play some Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. So everyone, thanks so much for stopping by and watching some City Skylines. I really think that the Dreamy Hills are doing pretty well. They're at least much more sustainable than uh, the previous city that I built that I lost. Um, but that's because I was trying to feed my citizens toilet water and they didn't like it. Um, so this time I'm properly polluting downstream. I also have taken out no loans. Um, and so that's good for us. So I'm being much more fiscally responsible. And I think that, I don't know, Sophie Graham is appreciative of that. Um, she lives at the Heather residence. She's an attendant at the Quiet Corner Shop. And yet she's able to afford a sports car. Um, you know. So, no, I won't, re I won't ruin Sophie Graham's life and rename her car something mean. I was really close to doing it, though. Um... I wish you the best. Who's this? It's a dog. Um, this is now Scraps. So Scraps is here. And who's your owner, Scraps? Um, Mary Young. She is a ground worker at the box factory. Um, wow. God. Well, I'm glad you can at least have Scraps to walk um, after a a long day at the box factory. What a nightmare. Um, okay. Actually, I don't know. Maybe the box factory is great. Look at this. This is Sally's quiet corner shop. And in the lot are what appear to be, you know, these kind of like Ford Mustang Lamborghini hybrids. That is phenomenal. People are doing great if they can have that situation happening. So... Give me a couple of seconds to uh, switch games, everybody, and thanks for tuning in for Cities. I'm moving over to Dungeon Crawl.